Oh yeah, me again. Look at this beautiful moor. I'm stood in what they call Sharpen Park at the moment. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Usually, if I get here a bit earlier, there's lots of deer all the way across there. But a bit late today. As you can see, there's the tour in the far distance. And Glastonbury just below it. And over in that direction is Wells. Over in that direction is Western Supermare. And down that way, you're looking at Taunton, Exeter, all that sort of way. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a bit of a time-lapse video. Taking you straight down across the moors towards Western Supermare. I'm going to hit out onto the moors down the bottom there. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in this part of the video, but way about there. I'm going to be going down a trail there. And then I'm going to head towards Mere in West A. And I'm going to jump on another trail, which is the National Cycle Route. Which takes you all up through the old Glastonbury Canal. It'll take you all the way up through there. And I'll basically come out where all those little trees are up there. like a, But a lot further up and back into Glastonbury. Anyway, let's see how we go. So, this was the Shapwick Moor part, and uh, as I'll show you, it goes four ways. You can go that way, you can go that way back into Ashcott, go that way, which is the way I came, and obviously go down there where I did go, and I've come back because the gate was locked, and the uh, other little gate you can walk through, my bike doesn't actually fit through it and I and the bike is a bit too heavy when I'm on my own to lift it over the gate so hence I've come back this way but when you come down these trails there's loads of stuff to see it's really well worth it if you're ever in Glastonbury head down here it's absolutely beautiful down here anyway let's get on with it
somewhere around this area or maybe even on this bridge I'm stood on is where the train went train crash happened so just make sure you get yourself if you come down here over onto this box and they'll tell you all about it and it was all the locals that were involved at the time on the box I'll put it on here so you can have a listen if you can't make it here Welcome to the Beat Moors If you've been standing here during much of the 20th century you would have been in a very different landscape not water and wildlife but peat workings and machinery. The great plain peat works were nearby and you would have heard the noise of machinery and seen people hard at work, digging, transporting and processing the raw peat. Right next to you there was a tramway heading off into the peat fields which hauled the peat to the factory. Just across the south drain was the Somerset and Dorset Railway linking towns such as Glastonbury, Wells, Bridgewater and Burnham on Sea. Railway wagons would be standing next to this main line in a siding known as Alexander's Siding after the owners of the works. Here, finished pea products were loaded and sent to many destinations from local towns to golf courses in America. Picture a still misty morning in 1949. You can hear the clanking of a small peat train coming across the moors. In the far distance, you hear the whistle of a steam engine as it leaves Ashcott Station. Just over the bridge, the peat train is about to cross the main line on the level crossing. Nearby are Bob Toogood and Sam Foster. Press the next button to hear what they say. Bob Toogood and Sam Foster Remember the day in 1949 when disaster struck the railway between Ashcott and Shapwick? Well, that morning I heard the train go in. I were I just finished milking. Used to that time in the morning. And all of a sudden I heard this big clatter, see? Big clatter and banging and whatnot. And that whole sort of gone wrong. Next day, these big toffs come down from Swindon with the bowler hats on, railway officials. Oh, we'll lift that out, we get it out, because it was weighing 80 tons, you see, and that blocked off the south drain. So they had to dig a trench around it and load the drain. And they came down, they said, oh, we'll lift that out. Oh, we'll bring the steam crane down from Swindon. We brought it down the Shatwick in the side, and they built a big platform with big timbers like this, and that uh, right, we're going to lift it out tomorrow, brought the steam crane up and they hitched it up with the engine, started, shh, shh, went on, the engine didn't move, did it? The crane was going down in the peat and the engine stayed where it was and he had to cut it all up in little pieces and I said, I told you you would, didn't I?
that's the trail done hope you enjoyed it remember stay safe get out and ride